Hello all and welcome to Select EV News. Last us talks about some interesting and amazing news which was happened in this week. And here is the first news. Friends, 2022 is going to complete and we are stepping into 2023. Let me should know about EV sales in 2022. Let's see the top 10 electric vehicles on sale in this year if EV sales increased by 180% this year. In 10th position there is Boch. They have sold 48 units in this year. They have sold 13 units in September. That's why best sales month. Boch has only one electric car called Tika and its price is 1.5 crore. It is said that Adi is in 9th position. They have sold 74 electric cars. They have sold 14 cars in June and August and their best selling months are three electric car variants namely e-tron RD e-tron ZT RD RS e-tron ZD but when the prices come 1 crore 2 lakhs in eighth position Mercedes sold 98 cars in November and sold 38 electric cars and their best selling months in eighth position Mercedes sold 98 cars in November month and sold 38 electric cars and their best selling months Mercedes has two electric cars available EQC and EQS and seven seater car EQB is also available The booking has also been opened recently BMW is in the seventh position and they have sold one Volvo cars They have sold 27 electric cars in September that is why it is the best selling month for them BMW currently has two electric cars iX and i4 available and their starting price is 70 lakhs. Kia is in 6th position and 116 units have been sold. There is only one variant of Kia which is the Kia EV6 and its price is 70 lakhs. And Mahindra is in the 5th position and it has sold 196 units and they have sold one Volvo units electric cars in September month. BYD is in the 4th position and they have sold 352 units and they have sold 63 units in the month of september and that is why it is the best selling month for them in third position hyundai has sold 468 units they have sold 81 units in the month of september and that's why it is the best selling month mg it is in the second position and they sold 2671 electric vehicles they sold 624 units in november month and that is the best selling month Model MGS is currently available and its starting price is 35 lakhs. In the first position it is Tata Motors which we all like very much. They have sold 21569 electric vehicles and they have sold 3093 units in the month of October and that is why the best selling month is Tata Nexon EV Max, Tata Nexon EV Prime, Tata Tiago EV There are four models of Tata Tiago EV available and their starting price is 20 lakhs. Wanted to look at electric vehicle dealers? Find more than 2000 dealers in Select EV application. Wanted to look at charging stations for your electric vehicle? Find more than 1000 charging stations located in Select EV application. Wanted to know the available electric vehicle models? Find more than 90 electric vehicle models in Select EV application. Wanted to know the availability of electric vehicle spare parts? Select EV application is one-stop solution for all your electric vehicle requirements. And here we are going to the next news. IKEA will now deliver using solar-powered electric cargo bikes. The trial run of this Sunride solar-powered electric cargo bike started in Netherlands. It is a three wheeled pedal powered machine and that delivers in city limits. The specifications of Sunrider can carry about 90% of IKEA's product line and it emits 98% less CO2 than a contemporary diesel van. In order to be a bigger part of zero carbon emissions by 2030, IKEA took up this step. By 2040, IKEA will upgrade of all its medium and heavy duty delivery vehicles larger than 7.5 tons zero emission EVs by 2040. Here is our next news. As predicted by a spokesperson of the Climatic Center at ICF, fleet electrification saves 40% on maintenance costs and up to 50% on fuel costs. 
Failing the predictions, Ford could not deliver as many electric trucks planned. Rather, they have sold nearly 40,000 Mustang machines in 2022. At the beginning of 2022, the market has seen an increase in demand that is worth of 4 years. In fact, the used EV section also raised with its sales. Tesla's sale is predicted to drop by 40% in 2023. It just becomes any other brand in the coming year. The customers buying used EVs will have to suffer from battery aging. IC vehicle leasing will see a rise in 2023. Outbusting charging stations will not be viable in the coming year 2023. Changing the focus onto the range variability will be a great help for innovation of battery and technology in coming year is predicted. For dealers, used EV sales will hit up to 70% in 2023 is predicted. The pricing for consumers might get economical for brand new and used cars as per predictions. And we are moving to the next news. Row from Darwin, South Africa will be the company's first full suspension model, built with an aluminium frame and a linkage type suspension system. The bike has a mid-mounted motor and 29-inch wheels. The specifications include Buffang M500 motor, 95Nm maximum torque, max speed of 20 miles per hour, 560Wh battery pack, 50 to 75 miles on a single charge, 140 mm of front suspension travel, tetro hydraulic brakes with 180 mm rotors, SRAM 1 into 11 drain train with a SRAM NX derailleur and an 1142T cassette. And here is our next news. In 2023, Hyundai will launch the Ionic 5N, long awaited sports car. The hydrogen electric hybrid will be a great step for Hyundai launch sports cars. The executive technical advisor of Hyundai first envisioned that this would not be a great deal for Hyundai. But he is now convinced to sell this expensive mid-engine super sports car. Here is our next news. Oben, an Indian EV company, will launch drone electric naked bike in Indian market. In the Treasury's funding, the company achieved its $4 million target and 17,000 bookings. It will be launched in first quarter of 2023 at Rs 99,999 in a few metropolitan cities. The spokesperson expresses great happiness for road. The specifications include 10 kW electric motor, 72 Nm instantaneous torque, top speed of 62 miles per hour, 0 to 25 miles per hour in 3 seconds. 4.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, full charge in 2 hours, 125 miles on single charge. It has 3 power modes, Echo, City and Havoc. Here is our next news. Remember Zeely Holding Company, it is a parent company of Volvo Cars, Lotus Cars, London Electric Vehicle Company and Kuya Young Motorcycles as well as Geely Toe Brand. The brand's primary market is China and it is one of the most established automotive companies in the world. This company is going to bring a vehicle called Zeely Panda Mini Electric into the market and coming into specifications part, it measures just 3 meters in length and 1.5 meters in width. The Panda Mini EV is 1.6 meters long and has a wheelbase of 2.01 M. It is said to be Equipped with a lithium ferrous phosphate battery from Zeoxion Hitech. Talking about the driving range, a single charge is about 150 km. A 40 bhp motor is enough to get this little vehicle around. In China, the Zili Panda Mini EV is likely to be priced between 40,000 and 50,000 yuan. It primarily reveals the Wuling Hongyong Mini EV and MZ8 EV, which will also be launched in India. And we are jumping into the other news, Rivian Trunks got a range boost in the air and the company now says it is official. California plans to double the number of EV charges in the state and as a part of this urban crossover lineup, a hybrid will join the Kona Electric next. This and more here at Green Car Reports. The 2024 Hyundai Kona lineup has taken a bow and this time it's an EV LED design with a hybrid version and also set to join the lineup, Hyundai says. California has announced 
2.9 billion dollars plan that will double the number of public EV chargers in the gold state over the next few years, as well as expand charging infrastructure for electric buses and commercial trucks. With other infrastructure funding from the federal government, the state will maintain a goal of 2 lakhs 50 thousand chargers by 2025. Rivian has improved cold weather livability with its snow mode and preconditioning for its R1T and R1S electric trucks, and has improved this line of models through over-the-air updates, enough to warrant an EPA retest. Official ratings for the R1T electric pickup and R1S electric SUV have increased to 328 and 321 miles respectively. I hope you people like this video. If you like this video, please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you all in the next week. Thanks for watching.